Detroit tonight, moments of panic after a Valley man says the 500 rounds of ammunition that he ordered online was delivered to the wrong address. And he is especially concerned that for several hours, the company apparently couldn't track it down. 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade joins us in studio with more Carla on what happened. Yeah, Richard Silipilino tells us that he has always been a responsible gun owner, but he says this experience has changed his whole outlook on buying ammunition online. Boxes of bullets sit on Richard Cipollino's coffee table. Some friends of mine and I had planned a day of shooting up at the North Decatur shooting range. And with a bunch of people shooting, you can easily go through four or 500 rounds of ammunition within an hour or two. But for hours Wednesday, he had no idea where these 500 rounds of live ammunition were. And I was very concerned that over 500 rounds of ammunition would get in the hands of somebody who was not supposed to have it. He bought it online, submitting a valid driver's license as required. They were shipped via FedEx. I received an email on my, on my phone while I was studying for my uh, uh, final that uh, the ammunition had been dropped off at my door. So I immediately got up and went to my door and nothing was there. He worried that it could have been delivered to a home with kids, a felon, or someone with bad intentions. With the recent uh, terrible situation that happened October 1st, it, it concerns me. And the same day he was trying to track down his package, a College of Southern Nevada student was arrested for having 2,000 rounds of ammunition and a rifle in a parked vehicle at the Henderson campus. Cipollino called FedEx several times. Finally, he says a dispatcher told him they had no way of contacting the driver who was shown to have delivered the ammo. I found that very questionable because in our age of technology, how could you not get hold of someone, especially a delivery driver? After five stressful hours, the driver shows up at his door. I apologize. It's my fault. I delivered it to the wrong address. Fortunately, it was delivered to my neighbor. We reached out to FedEx to ask them about their policy when it comes to delivering sensitive items like ammunition. But so far, they have not responded to our request. I will never do that again. Uh, for the extra 10 or $15 that it will cost me, I will go to Sportsman's Warehouse, buy it, secure it, drive it home, and secure it again. Carla Wade, 13 Action News.